Washington, D.C. Headlines on Trial with Harvard Law Professor Arthur Miller. In great admiration, William Shakespeare wrote, What a piece of work is man. There's no doubt that we human beings are quite remarkable and special. We are indeed a piece of work. But whose work are we? How did we get here? Some say God created us just as we are in his image. Others say no, we evolved into our present form over millions of years. Right now, neither side can totally prove its point or totally disprove the others. At issue is whether both theories of origin should be taught in public school science classes. Creationists claim that they are being censored, and evolutionists argue that to teach creationism would corrupt the separation of church and state. From today's headlines, we'll put this question on trial. Should creationism be taught alongside evolution in public school science classes? Are we relatives or created in God's image? And what should we teach in public school about our roots? In 1925, John T. Scopes lost his teaching job in Dayton, Tennessee for introducing his pupils to evolution. In 1987, the Supreme Court will decide if a Louisiana law requiring the teaching of creationism in the public schools promotes religion. Alphonse Jackson is a Louisiana state legislator. I think that the express purpose of creation science uh, is and was uh, to institute religion uh, in the public schools. Most true scientists who have no bias on either side will say, true, creationism is theory. True, evolution is theory. Give them equal footing, since the American people have given them equal footing. Timothy Dyke, a lawyer arguing against the Louisiana law, says the problem is with the way creationism is to be taught. It's to be taught in science course as a doctrine that has equal standing with evolution. Uh, and, and that's where you uh, mix uh, religion with science. We'll settle it when the Lord comes, uh, <laughs> when we all get to heaven. There'll be no question about it. True as Mr. Falwell's statement may prove to be, in this life, questions are unavoidable. Here to help us sort things out are four expert witnesses. Bill Keith heads up the Creation Science Legal Defense Fund. As a state senator, he sponsored Louisiana's creation law. Mr. Keith would like to force the teaching of creationism in public schools. Balance treatment in the classroom is what Dr. Dwayne Gish wants. A biochemist from the Institute for Creation Research, Dr. Gish calls for an end to the evolutionist domination of scientific thought. Dr. Eugenie Scott sees creation science as a serious threat to quality education. As an anthropologist and director of the National Center for Science Education, Dr. Scott maintains creation theory is scientifically unfounded. A religious belief masquerading as science, that's what lawyer Jay Topkis thinks about creationism, and that's what he told the Supreme Court as he argued against Mr. Keith's Louisiana law. Now, what do you think? We'll poll our audience on this question. Should creationism be taught alongside evolution in public school science class? When we come back, we'll find out what they think before our discussion begins. And then our witnesses will try to sway some of those opinions. I only drink beer. Everybody does it. I never drink before five. Sound familiar? My line was, I can hold my liquor. I didn't think about how much I was holding. I found out it was a lot. My doctor told me anything more than two drinks a day was too much. I care about my health, so I cut down. If you're drinking more than two drinks a day, why don't you cut down too? If you can't cut down, get help. Call 1-800-ALCOHOLS. You know what's going on in the car business these days? Deal City. Okay, you want a deal on GMAC interest rates? Of course we Buick dealers have it. You want a deal on options? Read this. We Buick dealers have it. And you want a great car with 660 protection? Buick. But how about something beyond rates and rebates? How about some honest-to-goodness clobber the sticker price dealing? We're doing that, too. 
He wants to trade this in on a LeSabre? Well, it's original. Homeowners, save $250 on York security shutters during this special introductory offer. It's a fact. Forced intrusions, vandalism, burglaries, and worse can happen to you. That's why I want you to find out about York security shutters. When activated, they roll into place to protect all window and door openings in your home. Available in a variety of decorator colors, they come with a choice of manual and electric controls. Strong York security shutters are designed to safeguard your house, its contents, and the welfare of those inside your home. Plus, they can reduce home heating and cooling costs and can increase the value of your home. Get free facts by mail now about this truly effective new kind of home security system and get this free $250 rebate check during our special introductory offer. Call now to receive everything free by mail. There's no obligation. To order, call toll-free 1-800-228-2202. 1-800-228-2202. Call 1-800-228-2202 toll-free. 1-800-228-2202. Have you made up your mind yet? Uh, yes, sir, I have. Which way? I would uh, be in favor of creationism being taught in the public schools. And why? Because I believe there are both theories and they both deserve equal time. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm opposed. I think it's in the long run damaging to religion. I don't think my fifth grade teacher was capable of dealing with these complex theological issues, and I highly doubt others are as well. Our audience poll showed that 22% favored the teaching of creationism, 65% were opposed, 13% were undecided. Let's begin our discussion with the experts. Let's suppose you have a daughter, Susie. She comes home from grade school one day and she says, in class today, the teacher said, God created the universe. And I'm confused, Daddy, because you always taught me we have evolved from tadpoles and snakes and apes. Are you distressed at what happened in Susie's class today? Well, I'm distressed because of what Susie was told, that God created the universe. I don't think it's any business of a public school teacher telling Susie that God did anything. Why? Because our religious instruction belongs in my home and in our churches and synagogues. <laughs> Dr. Scott, what's wrong with teaching religion in school? There's nothing wrong with teaching religion in school. I would like to have a lot more comparative religion taught in school. But I think there's a big difference between teaching about religious views and advocating a specific doctrinal Christian idea as science in a public school. Mm -hmm. I think there's a big difference between those two things. So you would like to teach science as science? Absolutely. Okay. Now, Mr. Keith. Aren't you trying to teach religion in the public schools when you propose this statute that says creationism should be taught? I think a real careful reading of the, the statute itself would show that religion is prohibited from being taught in any classroom in the state of Louisiana under the auspices of this law. It's totally separate and apart from the book of Genesis, and there are scientific data that, that point to creation, and that's what we think ought to be taught in the public schools. But divine creation? That sounds like religion to me. We don't define it as, divine, as divine creation. We call it creation science. Creation science. And the, the divine part would be the editorial part that would come from you and not from us. <laughs> Dr. Gish, what, what would you teach Susie? I would teach her that what the fossil record shows, for example, is that each one of the major types of plants and animals have appeared abruptly, fully formed, right from the start and that we don't have the intermediate forms between these major types that are required by evolutionary theory. That actual historical record, as Darwin realized, and even as many evolutionists realize today, is remarkably in support of creation, which is a sudden, abrupt appearance, mm -hmm. fully formed, and is, does not support this notion that these creatures have come into being slowly and gradually at all. It's contrary to that notion. Under creation science, when did this happen? Well, there's two different views on that subject among the creationists. Some say the Earth is very old. Some say it could be very young. So the time question is not the core issue. The core issue is how the universe came into existence and not when it came into existence. 
the issue of time must be very important to creationists, otherwise you wouldn't have had your uh, third, I think it was the third National Congress of, uh, National Creationist Convention in Pittsburgh last, uh, when was it, last uh, August. Um, the whole theme of that conference was, was the age of the earth, so the clearly that must be very important. both sides of the issue, Dr. Scott. How can it be an issue when creation stands on both sides? You see, if all the creation took that position and all the evolution took the other position, I would agree with you. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What is the range of age that the creation science people believe Depends is... Depends on which creation scientist you, you're talking to. You, Dr. I believe things, I think there's much evidence to indicate that things could be quite young. But I would never, 10, hold, years, I would never 15, hold that position years? dogmatically. It, Mr. Keith, how about you? Well, I think it's probably several hundred million years old. Dr. Scott? Billions of years. Billions. So we have a range between thousands and millions. Now, wait, there, uh, Dr. There's... Scott, wait, 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 wait. He has a theory. Mm -hmm. You have a theory. Mm -hmm. Two theories. Why shouldn't his be taught in the public schools? The Eskimo have a theory. The uh, Hopi have a theory. The Buddhists have a theory. We can find, quote, theories, if you want to use the term as loosely as the creationists use it, on just about, uh, from just about any group of human beings anywhere on the planet. What we're talking about is what do you teach in science classes? And in science classes, you teach science. This is what uh, Bill Keith wants to do with his law, and you agree. I agree with that. But Absolutely. You, in your own writing, sir, you have said on many occasions that there's no scientific evidence for creationism. No, I did not say that at all. I said, as a matter of fact, no theory on origins can be defined as a scientific theory, whether it's evolution or creation. You were not there to witness the origin of the universe. You did not see life come to existence on this planet, and you have never witnessed the origin of one kind from another. No one has ever seen that. Okay. Therefore, you cannot have scientific theories. Can you theories. prove to me, can you prove to me that we abruptly appeared? No, I cannot. Can you prove to me that I'm a descendant of a tadpole? What do you mean? I mean, if you told me a basset hound, that I could buy, but a tadpole. <laughs> can you prove evolution to me? You're missing the point, with all uh, due uh, respect. Uh, uh, that is the point. No, the that point is not the I'm point. I'm asking, can you prove it to me? Because I'm talking can about... Can you prove it to me? Science, can you science prove does it? not deal in proof, and I'm a scientist. Then you can't. Neither, Neither of you can got, prove. What has this got to do with anything? The question is whether these people's religion is going to be taught in the public schools. He or says or it's science, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> no, we uh, don't no, agree with did that. Did you hear what he said? He said, or my religion. He says it's his religion against my religion, and they both bought it. Ought I to don't be taught. agree with that. I Absolutely say no, no religion Absolutely. should be taught in the public schools. Absolutely. You think creationism is religion? Well, let, let's just look at the guy who wrote the bill that Senator Keith introduced, a guy named Elwanger, a so-called therapist from South Carolina. He said... Just the news, Mr. Thompson. Just the news. I view this whole battle as one between God and anti-God forces. That's the, the man who wrote this bill. And the man who Senator Keith called as his key witness said creation, as distinguished from evolution, requires the direct involvement of a supernatural intelligence. It takes faith to accept creation as a viable explanation of origins. He says you're bringing in religion through the back door. Oh, that's a, their old th thread-worn argument that they use. They don't have a real good defense against creation science, so what they do is they build this bogeyman and say it's a fundamentalist conspiracy to try to get our religious views taught in the public schools. You think it's science? Oh, of course I think it's science. He says it's science. He says it's religion. You're a scientist. How do I know science from religion? I'm just a parent. There's one problem that you as a parent have to understand, and that we've, we've muddied about 14 different puddles right here, and, and things are very murky. Um, for all I know, God could have created and then things evolved thereafter. Um, I think where we really differ is in the question of looking at the plants and animals today, looking at the geology, looking at the planets, looking at the universe. Did these uh, items and substances change through time or have they or are they as we see them today as they have always been with of course minor possibilities for for organic change uh, and i think that's really the big difference has change through time taken place or has it not my question mm -hmm. how do i as a parent know the difference between science and religion because there is a tremendous amount of scientific evidence that the supports the idea that change through time has taken place and, and i <laughs> maintain you see that there's tremendous scientific evidence to show that this change postulated by the overall 
me but a man theory of evolution has not taken place no and and i can quote cite the scientific literature evolutionists themselves say that there's very little if any evidence in the fossil record for gradual change there is no evidence to show for example that a microscopic single cell organism evolved into a complex invertebrate absolutely not many not one states possible. have proposed statutes requiring equal time for the teaching of creation science alongside evolution would you favor such a law? That's next on our docket as Headlines on Trial continues. We take you backstage at Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> You've got a big problem with her. Watch, you didn't like the new makeup man. <laughs> What do we do? We feed her more. Mm. She's hungry. She won't go Excuse on. Excuse me. One, please. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors, off-Broadway's monster musical hit. See it live on stage at the Orpheum Theater. Call Telecharge. When you come to Meineke Discount Mufflers, you don't have to worry about the price. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. At Meineke, you won't pay a lot. We'll install the Everlast muffler you need in 30 minutes in most cases at a price you won't worry about from $18.93 to $26.95 installed. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. You're not going to pay a lot at Meineke. We're in Newmark and Lewis, and we're on our way to open five new superstores. It's a spectacular grand opening sale, and every Newmark and Lewis is celebrating. Now there's five more Newmark and Lewis stores, filled from ceiling to floor with audio, video, appliances, and microwaves. And every purchase comes with Newmark and Lewis's free lifetime low price guarantee. The Newmark and Lewis grand opening sale spectacular at all 44 Newmark and Lewis stores, with the lowest prices in Newmark and Lewis's history. And Lewis is watching. Team Pontiac presents winners. The only time you're successful in a season is when you're a world champion. And um, I'm not here right now to finish second place. I, mean, I want to get back in postseason play and we're getting to the ring. Winners brought to you by Team Pontiac, our newest winning dealers on Grand Am. We've got a special shipment of thousands of Grand Ams and we're dealing with 3.9 financing or cash back of up to $600. The hot ones are in stock and we're dealing. So come in now for our limited time offer on the winning Grand Am. Mr. Keith, you were a state legislator and you've got some experience with this. Let's suppose, without getting into details, that a statute comes before the legislature that says creationism and evolution should be given equal or balanced treatment in the high school curriculum. Why do we need a statute on high school education? I think it enhances academic freedom and expands the student's right to know. It does so many things as far as doing away with uh, bigotry and censorship and, and these types but of things. But we normally rely on school boards and high school teachers to make decisions like that, not, not the big shots in the state no. capitol. But, but what are you worried about? The I'm worried about academic freedom. I think that a great deal of scientific material that points to creation is being summarily censored out of the public school curriculum. Censored? And I think that's wrong, yes. Censored? Yes. You think there's a conspiracy out there? I don't know why it's being censored, but it's being censored. Censorship? <clears throat> it's out of the public school curriculum because it's lousy science. If this stuff was such great shakes as science, you would find scientists all over the country jumping on this well, bandwagon. scientists all over aren't. the country once thought the Earth was flat, too. And uh, it was in the public. It was in the class. Yeah. Mr. Topkins, yes, Mr. Topkins, yes, Daddy, please. I'm Susie, your daughter. You're such a big man on free speech. Why don't you let them have their rights of free speech? Let Why them, are you trying to censor them? Let them do it any place but in the public schools. Oh, we yes. made a deal in this country, all of us, Jay. that we would all keep our myths off the public schools when it came to religion. Yeah. We would do the same thing in every area of government. No religion in government. That's our deal. The fundamentalists yeah, can't transgress right. upon it, the Jews can't, the Catholics can't, the Methodists. All we are suggesting, all we want 
is to the scientific evidences that supports creation and exposes the fallacies and evolution theory to be taught in the public school. What is wrong with that? Which would you prefer? Things as they are now with evolution being taught in just about all high schools or neither taught? Well, so, let's be fair about it. You either teach both or you teach neither. I want both taught. I don't want to censor uh, evolution. No, oh, absolutely boy. not. This is what this whole argument's all about. This is an argument against the idea of evolution, against the idea that change through time has taken place. No, it's not. Originally, it's not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The, you called evolution a bogeyman before. Yeah. What did you mean by that? Uh, it's a myth. It's, uh, it's a fairy tale. A fairy tale? Yeah. You make it sound like religion. I don't want to make it sound like anything but a fairy tale. Well, May I Senator quote Keith Richard? Many times said that evolution is religion. He said that over and over again in the hearings. May I quote Richard Lewinton, professor at Harvard University, an atheist, as far as I know, certainly not on our side. He said that creation and evolution represent two irreconcilable worldviews. That, by this evolutionist professor, and I would agree with that. And therefore, the evidence, the circumstantial evidence for both should be taught freely the fact that, the without fact that censorship. Somebody, they want this taught as science. See, that this is the whole picture of anti-evolutionism we're talking to. They started out trying to ban the teaching of evolution. Yeah. Well, the Epperson case says you can't ban evolution. Then they went to trying to at least ameliorate its effects by teaching the Bible along with we it. We didn't. Daniel yes. versus Waters said you can't do that. Then now, now the next step is to try to teach something that they created called scientific but, creationism so they can get their idea of biblical literalism into the public schools. But, but your narrow point is if you're going to teach creationism, no. Teach it as comparative religion sure. or teach it as sure. miscellaneous thoughts, sure. but Don't not teach as science. It as science because it is not scientifically our, our demonstrable. Point is, Seventy-two you Nobel put, laureates would you not put have the signed the brief if they thought it was scientific. of creation and evolution in the same category. If she wants to put it into philosophy, put both of them there. If she wants to teach in biology, which is all right with me, let's teach them both there. They have an equal status. No. Creation is no <clears throat> is just as non-religious as evolution and is just as scientific. Right now, we're going to repoll our audience asking them the same question we did at the beginning of the show. We'll see if anyone changed their mind when we come back. My family is doing better since I got my new job, but we're still glad for the help we get from food stamps. My son gets breakfast and lunch at school now, and my wife and I don't have to pay much. I often eat lunch with my friends at our senior center. They serve good, nutritious meals, and it's a friendly place. I'm Commissioner Cecil Perales. If you want to find out more about good nutrition and programs that can help you and your family eat better, call the hotline toll-free 1-800-342-3009. When you go to the bank for a home equity loan, do you ever get the feeling they're trying to tell you something? Once you get the message, call Statewide Capital. We'll get you money easily and quickly, even if you've been turned down by the bank. Use the equity in your home to get a home equity loan from $10,000 to $250,000 or more. No lines, no forms, and fast approvals. Statewide Capital gets you money easily. Call 1-800-832-0303. 1-800-832-0303. Bring your home to life with a visit to Petland Discounts. I'm Neil Padron, president of Petland Discounts. For 20 years, we've offered every product to help keep your pet healthy and happy at discount prices. And the staff always ready to answer your questions. This 10-gallon starter set, only $9.99. Tank, pump, filter plants, and much more. Petland discounts for people who love pets. Now 37 convenient locations, all open seven days. We're Newmark and Lewis, and we're on our way to open five new superstores. It's a spectacular grand opening sale, and every Newmark and Lewis is celebrating. Now there's five more Newmark and Lewis stores, filled from ceiling to floor with audio, video, appliances, and microwaves. And every purchase comes with Newmark and Lewis's free lifetime low price guarantee. The Newmark and Lewis grand opening sale spectacular at all 44 Newmark and Lewis stores, with the lowest prices in Newmark and Lewis's history. And Lewis is watching. From today's headlines, we put this question on trial. Should creationism be taught alongside evolution in public school science classes? Our second poll showed a slight shift. 
toward creationism. 25% of the audience said yes, 61% said no, 14 are undecided. Did you hear anything that affected your thinking? Um, I'm even more convinced before that I think creationism is based on religion, and even if evolution does have some imperfections, I don't think it's the appropriate way to account for them. And what about you? The scientific method requires that we look at all systems of occurrence within the natural realm, and I think to preclude looking at certain occurrences because they don't uh, fit into our preconceived th scientific thought is unscientific. So I believe the scientists, the ev evolutionists are unscientific. Thank you. Dr. Gish, a last question. Aren't you troubled by politicians setting high school curriculum? Well, I think, yes, I think laws are unfortunate of this kind. However, if the schools were doing what they should be doing, these laws would be totally unnecessary. Yes, I think it's unfortunate, but they're required by the dogmatic indoctrination and evolution theory which we have in our schools today. Dr. Scott, centuries ago, we did teach the Earth was flat. Isn't it possible that time will show we're making a terrible mistake now? If you take a look at what the creationists want to teach, if you take a look at the books that they use in public schools, that they have written for use in public schools, you will find that they are not teaching that the earth is flat, but they are teaching that the that Noah's flood was a historical event and all humanity is descended from eight people that got off the ark and all the animals and plants went from Mount Ararat to other parts of the world how it's very difficult to imagine. They think that this is supportable by scientific doctrine. You don't have to take my word for it. Any library has lots and lots of evidence. One of the fundamental principles of our system is that church and state don't mix. In keeping with that tradition, creationists like Mr. Keith and Dr. Gish maintain that the theory of creation is not religion, but a science, and it deserves to be taught as such. On the other side are Dr. Scott and Mr. Topkis. They see no scientific validity to creationism. To them, it just looks like a way to slip religion through the back door of the schoolhouse. The issue is clouded by the fact that neither side can give us that smoking gun, that irrefutable piece of evidence that totally proves them right and the other wrong. Frankly, I don't envy the Supreme Court, which may now have to decide what's science and what's religion. But if our highest court does uphold the Louisiana law requiring the teaching of creationism, proposals just like it will start appearing in your state legislature. And you'll have to decide what you want taught in your schools. I'm Martha Miller. There's a ham that has won so many honors for its superb flavor and lean quality, 